let's build the smallest possible raft in Raft. Hi friends, and welcome back to Raft. A while ago, one of you challenged me to make the smallest raft that I could, and oh boy did I. <laughs> this raft sits in a footprint of less than 4x6 foundations, and is nearly fully automatic with everything you need to survive and even complete the story. All in all, there's a fully automated garden that can suit all of your food and animal needs, an automatic biofuel setup that's wired to an engine, 14 chests, an advanced anchor, a smelter, a recycler, and all of your normal story navigation equipment, so a receiver, antenna, and a sail as well. The only downside is that it is definitely very cramped, and there are only two collection nets, but that's realistically all I could fit due to the placement requirements of the rest of the blocks. And it kind of resembles a little boat, so there's that too. But if you enjoyed this design and want to see more raft builds in the future, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyways, let's dive into building Raft's smallest functional raft. This raft is weirdly specific in the order that it needs to be built in due to the various blocks placement requirements, so I would recommend watching this guide fully before trying to duplicate it if that's what you're interested in. Otherwise, just enjoy the show. To start, you're going to make a 5x4 rectangle with rounded corners, and then make one of the short ends pointy with two more triangle foundations. On the first full row, starting from what would be the left side when you're facing the front, you'll need to remove that first foundation, and then replace the middle two foundations with scaffolding foundations. Eventually these two will become your collection nets, but again, placement requirements are weird, so just leave them as scaffolding for now. Technically you don't have to replace them, but I find it easier to visualize if you do. Speaking of scaffolding, you'll need to build an extra ring around your raft in this particular layout, making sure to add in that one extra triangle foundation towards the front. Eventually, these will support your pipes and then be destroyed, but you will need them to place in the pipes in the first place. Next comes your back wall. Starting from that hole we made in the very beginning of the video, you'll need to ring your back wall with the following blocks. One half wall, then one window, then four half walls, and then one upside down triangle pointing towards the front of your boat. On top of the window and the upside down triangle, add in two normal triangle walls and connect the rest of the back wall with half walls. Fill in the top of this back section with one row of normal and triangle floors. Add in your rope fence, centered around the right side of the back wall, and then add in your electric purifier so that it connects into that hole we made earlier. Once that's placed, you can add back in a half foundation into the hole so that the long edge is on the outside of the boat. On top of that half foundation, place one fence gate and then one upside down triangle. On the opposite side of the boat, add in your engine and then one more upside down triangle pointing towards the front of the boat over your scaffolding foundation. Using those scaffolding foundations, now you can place in your biofuel pipes along that path, connecting your engine all the way around to reach the first flat wall in the back. From here, place the pipes up to your upper story, and then place two scaffolding floors along the left of the backside and place two more pipes along that edge. Here you can add your advanced biofuel refiner and your battery charger along with one of your antenna on the right side. Inside your rope fence square, add a sprinkler in the center of the back wall, and then connect your water purifier to your sprinkler by wrapping through the window and around the back until you meet up with the fuel pipes and sprinkler. Then you can remove all of the scaffolding blocks, including the interior scaffolding foundations. Replace the holes in your raft with your two collection nets, and then make one more hole right behind the left net, and that's where you will place your advanced anchor over the hole. Then fill in the front of your raft with two layers of diagonal roofing, leaving the space over the biofuel pipe empty. On either side of your anchor, add in a wall of your choice, and then place three chests on either wall around the anchor's collision. Behind the anchor, add a trash can in the small gap, and then place a ladder in front of it. Fill in the entire front triangle section using the floating triangle glitch, and I'd recommend using cheap wood windows to do this because they can be placed diagonally and are lossless when destroyed. Then add in one more full square connecting to the ladder, and another triangle floor to connect that square back to the rest of the larger triangle. Then you can destroy the walls behind the chests if you want to, as they are technically supported by the anchor. On the upper triangle area, place your steering wheel first toward the front left, with your receiver immediately behind that. Then on the left of the steering wheel, place your electric grill with your smelter right next to it. Towards the right of the receiver, place down your engine controls, and then slap a bed in the remaining flat area. And now we get into the fun, messy bit. From the center of your raft, along the middle edge of your rope fence, add in one normal cheap pillar, with two horizontal half pillars going out towards either of the short sides of your raft. Place your sail on top of this little pillar contraption. 
On the side closer to the middle of either of the upside down triangles at the front of your boat, place a cheap half pillar with an antenna on top of it, and then fill in your rope fence area with grass, except for the corner because we still didn't get triangle grass plots with chapter 3 and I'm still sad about it. In the corner of your grass area towards the middle of the boat, place a beehive and then add your recycler right next to it. Don't worry, all of these grass squares are still usable by whatever animals you have regardless of the stuff we place on top of them, so you don't need to worry about any of that. In the corner that doesn't have grass, add in one medium advanced crop plot with one simple small plot hanging on the wall above it. On the left side of the sprinkler, hang three more simple small crop plots from the wall. Then center four chests along the upper part of the back wall, and then add in two more chests on either side hanging from the diagonal walls. Then light up the place with some lanterns around whatever parts of the raft you want, and I personally like having some placed on the back for some extra lighting, but those aren't necessary by any stretch. Then add a nice coat of paint if you want, although you will need to create a temporary paint production area because this thing is definitely already cramped enough, and add in some batteries to all of your machines. If you need to get on top of the back area to make some biofuel or charge your batteries or something, it's pretty darn easy to hop along your engine or really just jump on the sides, so don't feel the need to add in more ladders to consume yet more of your precious floor space. But that is the smallest fully functional raft that I could create, especially as an almost fully automatic one. If you guys have other ideas on how you could save space on this raft, or have other design challenges you want to see me take on, leave them down in the comments below. I take a lot of inspiration from all of you lovely folks, so I'm excited to see what you come up with. Anyways, that's it for me for now. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a like if you did, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I hope to see you all again soon, but until then, have a great day.